Hey, 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 how's it going everyone here for the first video from the new setup? Well, it's actually a bit of a temporary setup, so if you do hear some echo, I do apologize. Uh, currently in pretty much an empty room at the moment. Um, however, you shouldn't hear any of those random sirens in the background, so that is a plus. Uh, but yeah, definitely do let me know in the comments below if the audio sounds pretty bad, and I'll definitely do something before the next uh, figure release comes out. However, today we are here with the brand new Turles, uh from the third Dragon Ball Z movie, The Tree of Life. Um, actually, one of my favorite movies. Actually, all those initial movies. I absolutely love. If you haven't seen them, I highly recommend. Plus, if you kind of grew up watching Rock the Dragon intro, uh, you'll definitely be familiar with a lot of scenes since I took a lot from those movies to make that intro. Uh, so, when I see this figure, I definitely kind of hear that song playing in my head, and it is very uh, nostalgic feeling. Just seeing Turles here, and actually getting a figure, I'm super, super surprised he actually came out. He is looking great so far. Now this is the Japan release, so if you got it elsewhere, you may have a different toe sticker, but that is fine. That will change from region to region. Um, if you are new, always pay attention to the quality seal they have there. That is definitely one of the easier ways to spot a legit figure from a fake one if you are looking online. Uh, no, nothing for this guy yet, but in the future you don't know. Um, on the back we have a nice selection of images showcasing what he comes with, including that fruit there, the apple from the Tree of Life, and that really badass key effect. Uh, now he was released on Premium Bandai, uh, so he's actually already shipped out in the USA, but if you are importing from Japan, uh, he has just come out, so you shouldn't be waiting too much more before you get him in hand. Anyway, let's pop him out of the box and see what he comes with. Okay, out of a box and you may be wondering where are those hands and well, they are tucked behind in this cool packaging along with the key blast. I always love when a figure comes with so many accessories that they can't actually fit it in the single packaging. Uh, however, what we do have in the main packaging is Turles himself with that cape attached. Now this will pop off um, and actually surprisingly soft compared to what I was expecting. Um, for faces, we've got the neutral look on him already, the teeth gritting, the shouting, and then that tongue poking out as he's about to bite into that delicious ripe fruit from the tree of life. Uh, now the fruit itself is attached firmly to the hand. I think it would have been quite cool to have one uh, with just the fruit by itself so other characters could hold on to it. However, it is attached to that. It is a slight downside for me, uh, but it does look really good. Uh, we also have the arms folded attachment, something that, as you would know if you've been watching the uh, channel for a while, I really don't like them. Always a pain in the ass to attach, and not really something that I look forward to in figures. Uh, but if you do like them, let me know below uh, kind of why that is. Um, anyway, let's put them off to the side a little bit, so we can check out those hands. Uh, so in the center we have the key blast there, and then we've got two hands which can attach uh, to a little bit pole, which I didn't point out, but down here we've got a straight one and one with a slight kink in it. Uh, so you use those to attach to the hand and then the blast as well. So do be careful when opening up that packaging that you don't let them fly out. Uh, and then we also have the same kind of uh, gripping hands there, which is suitable for either holding the key blast or a martial arts pose. And then we have the more subtly uh, spread hands, which is exactly the same as the one with a peg hole, just well, without the peg hole. So yeah, now let's get him out of the packaging so we can check out that overall finish. Okay, so Tillis is spinning around here, and as we can see, the mantle swoops all the way around. It has a lot of motion into it, and the kind of folds and lines. You can see it, how it wraps exactly right around his shoulder pad. It <laughs> looks really nice. Uh, I do recommend being a bit careful when you take it off, because his other shoulder pad is actually underneath here. Uh, so just kind of uh, pop his head off, then it will lift over his head or neck peg, and then you can slot it off the shoulder pad there. Now as he comes around we can see he definitely has that darker tan colour which Turles has and then the lovely red scouter. Uh, the armour itself, I mean it kind of depends if you have a warm light in your room or come across a little bit more brown like. And um, if you've got a cool light it will definitely come across as the grey colour that it is. Uh, so depending on the lighting you use you can kind of get some nice tones out of the overall paint job. Now compared to some figures he actually a, has a decently matte finish. Um, now I have seen some photos around where he does look super shiny, um, but overall compared to most figures, he has that more subtle, uh, I guess maybe a semi-gloss finish. 
Uh, so he isn't super shiny or 100% matte either. He has a nice look to him. Uh, his legs are a little bit more on the shiny side compared to his armor. And well, as we can see, the color of the inner joints and his knee there doesn't really match up that well. It, depending on the lighting, it can kind of stick out like dog's balls a little bit too much. Um, but so far, that is my only real gripe with this figure. Uh, besides that, he is looking super nice. Um, and the detailing and the look on the face, I mean, he looks like Goku, but not quite, which is great. Kind of that kind of angry look. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any uh, Goku figures out for a size comparison today. Uh, but if you do jump on dropchannel.com, there's a link in the description. You can check out all the full specifications for these figures. And as you can see, when you check out the page, the here is 145 millimeters, approximately tall. Whereas your normal Goku figure is 140, so it's fractionally taller, which does line up with the overall, I think the official height ratings for the characters from the various uh, books over the years. Uh, so yeah, slightly bigger and definitely a lot more bulky compared to your usual Goku or even the Bardock figure, um, who is again very similar uh, to Turles here. So jumping into the articulation, we'll have a quick look with the mantle on. As we can see, his head can tilt very, very subtly up and down until it hits his nose. And he can definitely look left and right. Uh, it's not too bad there, but the mantle really does limit the articulation. Uh, so let's pop the head off and we can then get access to the mantle and the under armour. So as we can see, when the head is popped off, we've got the single peg there. And then we can just lift the mantle up. And then it'll slot off that shoulder there. Uh, before we pop the head back on, we can have a quick look at the metal. And as we can see, it is a soft rubber. I mean, it's molded to the shape, so it won't lose that shape, which is nice. But it's not really going to hinder the figure too much if you do try to do some posing. Uh, though it is, as you can see, maybe it's a little bit hard to see, but on the inside there, it has the perfect slot for the shoulder. So once it's on and tight there, you're not going to get much of the upper movement, but definitely in the legs and the lower back part you can kind of hold this out, so not too bad. I was kind of expecting a hard shell, so I'm glad it isn't. Uh, it's definitely a lot nicer compared to what they would have done in the past. So we've got the head back on there for that full articulation look, and he's got the usual uh, tilt down, and the looking up is actually surprisingly really nice. Uh, same with going forward. It definitely has a lot better range of motion than I was expecting, uh, especially once you get that cloak off. Now for the shoulder pads here, it has a slight redesign that is on a very small peg. Now since it is a tiny peg, I do recommend being careful, especially when switching these arms off of the folded ones. If you push or pull in the wrong direction, you may inadvertently put pressure on these pegs, which could lead to breakages. Uh, so be very careful when adjusting those. Uh, now moving over to the shoulder here, this is the usual design. Everything moves freely and has a nice range of motion. Got the standard butterfly joints which comes out. Though due to the design in this figure, it is a bit more limited in this range, especially due to the armor there. One thing that was really nice with, uh, for example, Krillin and Gohan recently who had the same armor, we have a chest plate that we could uh, pop on and off, which would give that extra range of motion there. But unfortunately, Turles doesn't come with that functionality, so it's a little bit more limited, uh, though depending on which angle, you, you can kind of adjust it a little bit, so his armor will pop into the joint there, allowing for a little bit more motion, but overall a bit more limited compared to other figures. Now the upper body here, as we can see, the armor has a nice curve in it, so we can get the forward and a decent amount of back motion there compared to a lot of other figures. We've got a nice big deep curve, which does help with that articulation for the back. Uh, going forward, a little bit more limited, but he can swivel left and right, and everything does kind of flow well together, and it looks nice, I think that's the more important part here, everything looks very really nice even when it is articulated. Now the tail itself is attached, it has a little bit of peg that pops into his back, and it will come in and out depending on how hard you push it, um, but it won't hinder the motion either. Now the other flaps are on the usual joints that you'd expect from other figures and if we lift them up we get full exposure underneath the armour and as we can see he has a decent range of the splits, he has the upper thighs which is a little bit more minimal compared to some figures um, but you definitely have that motion there which is nice. Uh, the 
knee joint is decent again and as we can see here the colouring really sticks out uh, I almost feel like it would be nice if they went with a body with the knee colouring there to match it up a little bit more um, but depending I guess how close you are looking at all the lighting it will blend in a little bit better sometimes than others However, depending on the lighting and how close you are looking at the figure, it's not as noticeable. Um, but when you are up close like this and quite bright lighting, it does stick out quite a lot. Now coming down to the angle, this is actually really reminiscent of uh, Nappa. Uh, we've got a nice big shaggy armor design on the side there, so it does hinder it a little bit. But we do have some left and right swivel, a little bit of tilt action, um, but overall pretty limited. Uh, the toe tip as well is pretty straightforward and standard. Again, very similar to that of Nappa. So moving over to the faces, this is the default the subtle smirk one. It is really nice. Uh, now one thing to point out is that the scouter will attach to each of the heads individually. And unlike the uh, Bardock figure, we don't get a uh, extra ear to place on. So you can only display them with the scouter. Uh, well, I do personally prefer the scatter look. It would be nice to have a little bit of variety though. Uh, but the printing, styling, everything on them is looking really nice. It definitely looks like Turles or Goku or Bardock or, you know, just one of those Saiyans. I uh, love that kind of cheeky grin, especially with that little wee indentation just above um, his mouth there. Now to change the faceplate, all you have to do is pop those bangs off and that will give you access to the face plate. Now these do have a different design to other figures so you won't be able to easily interchange them. Uh, next up we have the uh, teeth gritting, the frustrated look and one thing that's really nice is we have that bottom that kind of coming out that really dries through that irritated look in this face. You can definitely see this getting frustrated with how things are going on, you know, whether it's uh, Gohan getting in the way or not accepting to join them as we uh, one of these same warriors. And now we have that open mouth screaming one which is perfect for that key blast attack. Uh, definitely like the color separation of the outer skin, the teeth and his tongue. Um, the lines above the eyes are really crisp and clean and you know what it just looks really really badass with that scouter there. Definitely perfect to uh, use for those dynamic poses. And finally we have that great tongue poking out, like he's about to go lick something, I mean sorry bite something, I don't know, it is just a versatile face, I'm sure a lot of people will have fun with this in some photos. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this one does pair it perfectly with that hand um, holding the fruit, so let's pop it on now, so his right hand pops off. Then we can just line up the peg hole and just slot on that new hand which is holding that forbidden fruit. I've completely forgotten the name, was it Devil Fruit? F fruit of Life? Anyway, drop a comment below the name of the fruit he's eating. Uh, definitely really cool so we can angle that arm up and it looks like he's going in for a nice big bite of that juicy fruit. Okay, so we've got the key effect on here and as we can see when we swivel around there is that peg which is going into his hand and it curves out where you can attach the blast itself. Now since it is a subtle ball joint you can pivot a little bit to fine tune that position there. Uh, it is a little bit finicky at first, I kind of recommend putting the hands on and positioning them first. And then you can slot in the pole and then the key blast itself. Uh, but the colouring itself on the blast is nice, it's got that sweet as kind of metallic-y, yellowy, goldy uh, circle with the almost silver metallic -y and somewhat see-through uh, sparks coming off which is really cool. So see-through in the middle and then out to the tips it is getting silver. Uh, so definitely a nice look um, and definitely makes the figure kind of a bit more vibrant since he is pretty much a muted character with that uh, grey colours, the kind of charcoal -y. even that white isn't straight on white, it is that kind of a <laughs> grey white to be honest. Uh, so it's nice to get a little bit more colour in there and it pairs beautifully with that red scouter. Now the other accessory that he does come with, or not really accessory but I guess form itself, is the folded arms. Now his arms will pop off 
at the very top there, like most other things, very similar to uh, the uh, to Win O Piccolo. I mean, it's easy enough to attach though, it is a little bit finicky, uh, so I won't put it on now, but you can check out a photo at the end of this video where I have attached these arms. So that does bring us to the pros and cons for this release. Uh, now the pros being he is stacked with accessories. Um, he's got the mantle, he's got the key blast, um, he has the fruit, and um, all these little cool items really brings the character to life. Uh, so getting a figure stacked with accessories is great since everyone is always asking for more key blast effects and unique um, items for the figures, uh, and they've definitely delivered with Turles here. Uh, now, second massive pro, we actually got Turles. Who would have thought? I mean, cooler, I expect. Janemba, I mean, he hasn't come out yet, but I definitely expect him to come out, but. I mean, even Bojack I would expect before Turles here, but we've got Turles, who knows, maybe we'll even get Slug at some point. Um, it is great getting these, you know, maybe one per year, every second year, a movie release to slowly fill out the lineup. Uh, I know they're definitely something that's a little bit more, I guess, fun and interesting for a lot of collectors, and I'm definitely up for getting more releases of these. Uh, it's always good to get a Saiyan form as well, someone who isn't Goku though, I mean, he basically is his twin, um, and, well, since he looks exactly the same, but anyway, um, jumping into the cons, I mean, the main one really is the colouring for those knee joints. I'm not sure if they had originally had it designed slightly differently and just when they got mass produced it kind of came out a little bit too different from expectation. Um, I mean, it, it, it's not a huge deal and it really does depend on the lighting, but having it match, uh, I guess, being more similar would be really appreciated. You know, like, it does stick out a little too much and that is the main downside. Uh, Articulation-wise, he's exactly what I'd expect. Uh, so no real issues there. A little bit more articulation in the upper torso would be nice. Um, and same with the ankles here. But overall, he looks really nice being posed. And you can definitely reach the poses that you need from this figure without too much trouble. Um, I mean, the addition of a change of chest plate there could have helped a little bit more as well. Something like we had with the Gohan and Krillin. And I'm guessing with all the accessories this figure is coming with, yeah, he's probably already up there in the um, price point and adding on any of these extras would probably drive the price a bit too much. Um, the other kind of con I have is the folded arms. I just don't like them. It's always going to be a con for me. It's too fiddly to change. And when you do change them, I mean, I've changed now and this arm here comes off a lot easier than what it did before. It's just not, I don't know. Do you like them? Does anyone really like them? I mean, drop a comment below. Instead of that, I'd much prefer to get a loose fruit or another expression or, I mean, a stand would be so much more um, beneficial than having those folded arms. Uh, but anyway, um, back to a pro con. Pro, this cape is awesome. Con is a little bit finicky. Maybe two capes would have been cool. One like this and one where this was on a hinge or something so you can uh, flap it out and kind of get a really cool um, pose there. Uh, but anyway, overall loving this figure, definitely a must have for the collection, uh, at least personally being a big uh, fan of those original movies. Uh, definitely drop a comment below in the comment section for what you think about this figure. If you want to check out more photos, jump on rockchannel.com and there are some at the end of this video. But anyway, um, that is it for the review. Hope you enjoyed and until next time, cheers! Dragon, dragon, dragon ball.